everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a hand sanitizer project for you. These are one of the things that I love to make. Years and years ago, hand, the hand sanitizer project was uh, my first project that really became popular on the internet and it was really fun for me to see everybody get excited about this holder. So I have continued to evolve, change the project, and this is the simplest holder that I make. I'm using the Queen Bee bundle. Um, this is available in our 2023 spring mini catalog from Stampin' Up. And um, I'm also using the birthday, happy birthday from something fancy. I needed something really little for this project, so I pulled out that sentiment. All right, so the hand sanitizer I found at Bath and Body Works is lavender. I thought that was pretty perfect for um, the, the uh, almost said rabbit, the bee. Um, you can use, you know, Bath and Body Works is constantly changing their hand sanitizers. So really you could use anything. I also pulled this one out. We have a little box here at my house of hand sanitizer. And I think that that one looks nice too, the eucalyptus spearmint. That's actually my favorite scent. Okay, <laughs> let's make the holder. The first thing you're gonna need is a piece of Knight of Navy that is two, uh, three and three fourths by four and three fourths. On the short side, you're gonna score it at one and two and three fourths, and then turn it on the long side and score it at one and two. Okay, now this is really easy. If you don't like to make 3D projects, I promise this one is the easiest one you're gonna make. Burnish those lines, take your scissors and snip these lines right here on the long side. Like that. And that's all the cutting you have to do. Now I'm just gonna use stamp and seal because this is not a heavy thing. I don't think you need to worry too much, but use your favorite ad adhesive. Put the adhesive on the outside of that middle tab, okay? Well, I'm just getting adhesive everywhere, aren't I? All right, now fold this back part up and push those tabs into the sides like that. All right, okay, so now you all you have left is this, and this time we're gonna put the adhesive on the inside of these tabs like that and fold it over, give it a hug. See how it's hugging the side? And that's it, okay? Now take your scissors, we're gonna, you can leave it like this, but I like to leave, put the sides at an angle so that it's kind of open. So I'm gonna cut a diagonal line from right here to right here, like that. It makes it like a little magazine holder, you know, the little things that you put magazines in. So from the back to the front. And now you're done. All right, so you're gonna put your hand sanitizer in there. One thing I like to do to keep the hand sanitizer in place while it's traveling before you give it to the person is to put a, a dimensional on the bottom. Now this will pull right out. You saw me pop mine out. Um, it, it's, it's not a problem, but it will hold it in there while you know you travel or whatever, while you put in your car, or your bag, or whatever to give to whoever you're giving it to. Okay, so now I've got a little piece of this designer series paper. This is the, now I'm not, I'm gonna call it the wrong thing, Petal, Petal Park, Regency Park, I don't know. It's, I have a supply list and a free PDF for you over my blog. Check over there so that I don't tell you the wrong thing. Um, this piece, we wanna center it right there, okay? All right, let's do our stamping. We're gonna stamp this, I keep calling it a branch, but I think it's more like a little plant, like a little flower that's growing in a field. And I'm gonna put that right there, okay? That's memento black. And then I'm gonna take that happy birthday in old olive and stamp that right along the edge of my white cardstock. All right. Now, take your Highland Heather, and we've got kind of a grunge stamp here. That's what I call it, a grunge stamp. And it's, again, from the Queen Bee stamp. And I'm gonna stamp it in Highland Heather and then stamp off on grid paper. That's gonna give me um, a little bit of a lighter Feel. It's not going to be so in your face, um, you know, not so overpowering is what I'm trying to say. 
All right, so once you've got that stamped like that, that's not a die cut, that is actually a punch. So take your one of your heart punches, or your heart dies, and punch that right out. All right, we've got our heart, we've got our flowers. I'm gonna take my Stampin' Blends. Now look at this, we're only gonna use the top part of this, okay? It's way too big. So I'm only gonna color the top part. And it's not real precise coloring, I'm just gonna kind of add some Highland Heather, and I'm using the dark Highland Heather. I think maybe the light would be better. It looks like maybe I used the light on my original project. But color the flowers till about halfway down. And then just take, I'm gonna take my old olive light because I know that's gonna be better. And all I'm doing with the light is outlining the stem and kind of just coloring in the leaves to give it the appearance that it's green. Okay, do I need to color that one? I don't think so, but we'll see. Okay, bring over your machine your cut and emboss machine this would be a great project for your mini cut and emboss machine it would fit perfectly but this is what I have up here on the table so this is what we're using I've got new plates too don't you love when you have new cutting plates gosh it's like a clean house or something you know okay let's get that <laughs> let's get that off of our brand new plate and there we go now for this one all I'm gonna do is take my trimmer and just slice it off I just want a, a sliver of a paper all right like that and then I could take my scissors and snip that right there. All right, I think we're ready to put it together. I cut out two fresh freesia, a color that is retiring as well, pretty soon. Um, two fresh freesia flowers using the dyes from the queen bee. There's some flowers in there. Okay, so we're gonna start with our heart and we'll put that right in the center. Now I'm gonna take this guy and let's see, where do we want to put the dimensional? We'll put it right there. And I'll go down about that. Look, I do probably need to color that flower. Let's see. I'm going to cut it off to match. So, yep. Looks like I need to take my just barely color in that little flower. Okay. Now we've got happy birthday. Now notice, we didn't use the V, did we? We didn't. You, there is a little tiny V in this stamp set that would be a great addition. I don't know why I didn't think about that. There we go, happy birthday. And then we'll add our little flowers. We'll put that one. There, so we've got Highland Heather and Fresh Freesia together. And last but not least, I'm just gonna take a twine bow and stick that right down there on the bottom. We don't have old olive twine. This is garden green. We don't have garden green Stampin' Blends. So old olive and garden green, I think they go together pretty well. It doesn't have to be an exact match. They can just complement each other. You could also use linen thread. There we go. All right, there you go. Another hand sanitizer holder, perfect for the spring. If you guys have questions, let me know. Make sure you hop back over to my blog where I have several more Queen Bee projects where I do actually use the bee. <laughs> Thanks everybody, bye.